Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Hilton. I am a technical consultant veterinarian on the beef team with Elanco Animal Health. I've been a beef veterinarian for 39 years and have used Microtil for most of those years. And today, what I would like to demonstrate is the new Microtil shroud that we have that pairs with the safety syringe. So the first thing we want to do is put the shroud on a level surface and take these two safety tabs and pull them off of the side of the shroud. Now we take our hand and put it on top of the shroud and twist clockwise and the shroud is going to click into place and we're going to, to take the black rubber topper off of the top of the shroud fitting. Then we're going to take the safety syringe and the tubing, and this has a quick coupler. We're going to push down quickly. You should have heard it snap into place. At this point, we're ready to take the shroud and the syringe over to the animal where I will invert the shroud and start to fill the tube and the syringe. I already have a piece of wire on the bottom of the shroud that I'll be hooking that to the top of the chute. To fill the safety syringe and tube, the first thing you want to do is move the dial to the highest dose possible so that it's quicker to fill the syringe. Pull back on the trigger, and I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna push back the covering on the uh, the safety syringe. Put this up and you can see the microtill coming through the tube. And I'm gonna keep filling this up, starting to get some product in the barrel of the syringe. Before I put on the needle, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this shroud off of the safety cone on the syringe, push this black tab, simply pull that off. I'm gonna grab my needle, I'm gonna place my needle on the syringe, turn it clockwise until it seats into the syringe. Then I'm gonna grab my cone again, put this back on until it snaps into place. Now I'm ready to inject the animal after I remove the needle cover. So the next thing we do is set the dose on the wheel for the appropriate dose for this, for this animal. You can see it right through the window. Put my hand right back on the syringe. I'm gonna remove the needle cover, depress the trigger, and when the cone touches her skin, the sharp points on the cone will grab her skin and automatically tint the skin so I can give a subcutaneous injection. So I'm ready to inject right now. For storage of the microtill bottle, syringe, and hose, what we wanna do is have the hose and the syringe empty when we're finished. So with about five calves left to process, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take this down, remove the quick connect coupler from the bottle, set the bottle back over on the shelf, and then I'm gonna inject the next calves so that my syringe and my tube are all empty when we're done and that way I can clean the syringe. So I'm gonna remove the needle cap, depress the trigger, put it against her skin, inject this animal, depress, and as you can see, the microtill is emptying out of the hose. When you're finished with all of your cattle processing and your microtill bottle is empty and your tube and your syringe is all empty, to remove the quick release coupler off the shroud fitting, just place your finger on the silver tab, push it in, and simply bring it right off. It's very comes off very easily. Put the black cap back on the bottle and then dispose of this properly. Next thing we want to do is remove the needle from the from the syringe. So grab a hold of the cone, I'm going to press on the black tab on, back th on the back side that holds the cone the, onto the syringe. Press that tab, grab a hold of the, the cone with your thumb and forefinger, and simply slide that off. Then I'm going to remove the needle cover off of the needle and use the needle remover on the cone. Put it right over 
the needle. I'm not touching the needle with my hand. Twist the needle to remove it, and then put the needle in the sharps container and dispose of that. Thank you for choosing Microtil for your use in bovine respiratory disease. If you have questions on cleaning the syringe and the tube, please refer to the instructions in the box that comes with your safety syringe. And if you have questions about Microtil, please contact your Elanco sales representative. Thank you.